Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC 2024 is now available for purchase. And with that comes a huge amount of benefits over Windows 11 Pro. And in this video, I'm going to cover the top 11 benefits of the IoT LTSC Windows 11 product versus Windows 11 Pro. Stay tuned. All right, great news. Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC 2024 is now available. We've been waiting for this product for a long time, but come to Arrow, we can hook you up. It is now available. And today I'm going to go over the 11 benefits of Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC versus Windows 11 Pro. If you're an OEM building an appliance, some type of fixed purpose, special purpose device, not for general use, you should not be using Windows 11 Professional or Windows 10 Professional for that matter. You should be using the Windows IoT family of products, both the Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC and the Windows 11 uh, IoT Enterprise LTSC. Let's jump into the top 11. It's going to have a long life cycle with the product being available for 10 years. Now, I'm not talking about the support, I'm talking about the availability of the actual product itself. And uh, by that, uh, what I mean is, in comparison to Windows 11 Pro, that product right now doesn't have an end of life date because a new product has to come along to replace it. And that would be Windows 12. So you don't really have um, a life cycle or a good roadmap because you don't know when Windows 11 could go away. As soon as Microsoft launches Windows 12, well then the, the clock starts ticking on Windows 11 Pro. And you could end up in a situation where you would have to buy Windows 12 and then exercise downgrade rights and things get really messy really fast. Well, with the Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC 2024 product, it has a long life cycle of 10 years. It's going to be available for 10 years. You're going to be able to buy and sell it for 10 years. That helps you design your uh, life cycle for your IoT appliance. Let's take a look at number 10. Regulatory compliance for industries like healthcare, gaming, and aerospace, as well as many other industries, but those are the top ones that typically have some form of certification or industry certification. It typically has a lot of requirements and uh, things that, uh, honestly, Windows IoT fit perfectly for. You know, you're going to want something with that's secure, reliable, that will meet all of the industry certifications that uh, these different industries have and. The Windows IoT family of products have that as well as the Windows 11 IoT LTSC. Take a look at number nine. Enhanced system performance streamlined. So what do we, what do we mean by streamlined? Uh, streamlined means this product is almost what I would say bare bones, but it's not bare bones in a sense that doesn't have a lot of features, which we'll, we'll, we'll touch on in this, uh, in this top 11 list. Um, this product is streamlined in a sense that a lot of things that you would need for an appliance um, or for you know uh, things that you don't need for an appliance are removed. And that would be things like um, the store and Xbox and weather and news, uh, as well as a number of little things are pulled out of the product, but it's still based on full Windows Enterprise. So you're gonna get all of those Windows Enterprise features as well as some other IoT benefits, which we'll, we'll cover. But it's streamlined small footprint, ready to run your application, that's what you want. All right, number eight, reduced maintenance, quality updates only. So just like previous long-term service channel products, the LTSC uh, version of Windows 11 only receives quality updates. And quality updates consist of security patches, hot fixes, um, and anything to make the product reliable and secure. It does not ever get a new build version, um, and which means it does not ever get any new feature updates. No new features come along um, to interfere with your particular appliance. In this case, you can build your appliance, test it, lock it in, and you know that it is secure, reliable. You're not gonna get any other crazy features, features coming down. Next up, number seven, compatibility with legacy applications. In this case, we're on the fourth version, or build 24H2 of Windows 11 and it has plenty of, uh, of time to have developed the drivers and to work out any kinks or bugs or issues or security issues 
This thing is highly secure, streamlined, and it's been very compatible with applications. Um, in, in many cases, you could probably take a Windows 7 application, it's going to run on this Windows 11 LTSC just fine. I get the question a lot, hey, if this, you know, if my application runs great on Windows 11 Pro, is it going to run great on Windows 11 IoT Enterprise? Absolutely. Um, it's good. And again, that's because it's based on Windows 11 Enterprise, which is an upgrade to Pro. So if it runs on Pro, it's definitely going to run on IoT Enterprise. All right. Number six, enhanced security with device guard and BitLocker. Again, it's based on Windows Enterprise, so it's going to give you those enterprise features around security. Device Guard, BitLocker are just a couple of those features that come with the enterprise family, but that's what you want for an IoT appliance, the ability to lock it down, control it. Number five, performance-based pricing. Uh, this is a big one. And in comparison with Pro, um, it's just one price. Now, you can, get, you can buy a direct OEM system like an HP, Dell, Lenovo, that already has Windows Pro bundled into it. Um, but if you were gonna build a white box, you would have to go buy Pro, and that's a pretty expensive license. In the IoT world, the pricing is based on performance, it's based on the processor. So if you have an entry-level processor, you get an entry-level price. If you have a mid-level processor, like a Core i3, Core i5, you get a what we call value uh, price option. And then if it's high-end, Core i7, Core i9, Xeon, then you have a higher high-end price. So this will help you design your product um, to maybe run on a, on a mid-level performance or an entry level if it can in order to save money on the Windows licensing. All right, that brings us to number four, customization and lockdown features. So with the Windows IoT family of products, it comes with additional customization and lockdown features beyond what Pro can offer. Again, it's based on Windows Enterprise, which is gonna include quite a few different features additional features, but, uh, and then throw in the LTSC IoT piece of it, and you definitely have more options to customize and lock down, which is perfect for an IoT appliance, because you're going to want to lock it down. Number three is full re-imaging rights with full recovery media rights. So, a lot of people don't know this, but with a Windows, if you buy a branded direct OEM system like um, an HP, Dell, Lenovo, if it comes with Pro on it, you do not have the rights as an OEM to put your software on it um, and then sell it with your software on it or re they call it re-imaging. You're basically re-imaging or tweaking the factory branded image. That's actually against the license terms. Now, of course, the end user would have the right to put their software on it and do whatever they want and capture an image. But as a reseller, you actually don't have that. It's called re-imaging rights and that's not included with the Windows uh, Pro. So. However, it is included with the IoT LTSC family of products. Very flexible. In fact, it, they expect that you're going to do that, right? They expect that you're going to put a piece of software on there, customize it, create a complete customized image, re-image the machine, if you will, and then you're allowed also external recovery media. 11 Pro does not allow external recovery media. You're not allowed to capture uh, that OS and offer your customer an external recovery media you are with IoT. Next up, number two is the, and this was a big one because Windows 11 Pro requires TPM and Secure Boot. And that was a big problem when people were first migrating to Windows 11 because that typically means newer hardware. And if you're an OEM and you're trying to upgrade some older hardware, some older devices doing field upgrades to the Windows 11, this could be a, a, a stopper for you. However, with the IoT family, the TPM threat protection module, which is a, a security chip on the hardware, along with Secure Boot, are optional. If you want to enable it, you can, but you do not have to with the IoT LTSC family. That's a big one. And let's wrap it up with number one, which is 10 years of extended support. So. In comparison with the Pro family, which is on the GAC or General Availability channel, it only gets 24 months of support. So the uh, Pro GAC is 24 months. The Enterprise GAC is 36 months per build version. 
And then with the Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC long-term service channel, you get 10 years of support. It locks you into build 24H2, 10 years of support. Let's take a look at the roadmap and compare Windows 11 Pro and the GAC um, support to the new Windows 11 LTSC port support. So if you look at this roadmap, you'll see the four build versions of Windows 11. Your 21H2, 22H2, 23H2, and the brand new 24H2. So the Pro version, which falls under GAC, General Availability Channel, Service Channel, only receives 24 months of support per build version. So you're going to be using Windows Update to constantly update your system to a new build version in order to stay within that 24 month period. And you can see 21H2 is not even supported anymore. You have to be on 22H2 in order to get security patches and be supported. And that's going to run out in October of 2024. You will have to move to 23H2 before that day in order to continue to be supported. So as an OEM building an appliance, this is terrible. You would not want to have to constantly be updating your appliance. Going through all the tests, testing, and making sure that this new build and the new versions are going to run or going to work fine with your application. What you want is that bottom one, which is the brand new Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC that's going to give you 20 Sorry, it's based on build 24H2 and it's going to give you 10 years of support versus the 24 months that the Windows 11 Pro is. So, if you're building an appliance, you need to be on IoT Enterprise LTSC and not using Windows 11 Pro. And with that, I will say thank you guys for watching the channel. Catch me on the next video.